2020 has been an unprecedented year and very, very challenging for all of us, without exception. The COVID-19 hit us right at the first quarter of the year. You know, in such a time as this, it is a time the church must rise up, must be strong to share the good news of hope to a world that has lost its hope. So even though the enemy comes in like a flood, the church must stand strong. And John 16 verse 33 tells us, in this world, we will have trouble. But take heart, because we have overcome the world. So even though we are challenged and, and we cannot meet physically, but 2020, praise the Lord for SIBKL, has been a year of reproduction. And all these things did not stop us from growing. In this lockdown, we created new content like Chew on the Word every week, the 1010 prayer online. Every night, we had our 40 days of fast and prayer. And we saw families and cells using this content to build prayer altars in your own home. Families prayed together as never before. Our children coming together to lead prayer altars. All our main services were live streamed. The main services, worship services, live gen, narrow street, kids zone, Bahasa services. You know, our services went online and we managed to reach every weekend, nine to 10,000 views every weekend on our online services. Isn't it amazing? And uh, during this whole period from March until today, well over 200 cells gathered across the Klang Valley. And in fact, our cell numbers even grew. They multiplied. We also started a COVID-19 fund. We got actually featured in the Star newspaper. Families came together, you know, during this time, they made PPEs for the frontliners to UKM, UM, and many, many public hospitals. And all in all, the COVID fund has helped literally thousands of people who are in need. And we even partnered with TUDM, Tentera Udara di Raja Malaysia, and we sent PPEs to Sabah. Thank you. I want to thank those of you who have contributed generously to this fund. In March this year, we saw Workplace at the River launch as a church plant in a marketplace right in the center of the business district of Kuala Lumpur. LifeGen became a church of its own. They, they meet every Sunday at 4 p.m. And guess what? SIBKL Sungai Bulo started its first service on Zoom in July. And up to today, every week they meet and they are looking forward to moving physically by the first quarter of next year. Not forgetting the launch of our new college and university ministry called Society. You know, during this Christmas season, they gathered together and gave back to the community. What did they do? They gathered their own savings and collected over 18,000 ringgit. And they went to shop for goodies and daily needs and they delivered to at least 27 households in the community to spread the spirit of generosity and joy. We also launched another ministry called Lentil Patch. So what we did was when MCO came, so we helped over 50 churches, sharing with them our knowledge on how to run online services, how to run Zoom in small groups, how to edit a simple video for service. So in total, we have impacted well over 2,200 people who have locked into our knowledge of sharing the technology on Zoom. Hey, we did our first production of a Christmas service online. And I say this to you, and clearly I'm biased, it was an outstanding production. Many people came together, believed in the good news, and gave their very best. And as of today, do you know, we have over 10,000 views on our Christmas services and we rallied our church members together in homes, whole watch parties, and all in all, 253 watch party packs were taken, 
and during the wash party time, around 30 people gave their life to Jesus Christ for the first time. 2021 is going to be even more challenging, but we are not going to be disappointed. As IBKL, we are still strong. We want to be excellent. We want to continue to be dynamic. And the theme for 2021 is together we will overcome. Together we will overcome. God bless you. Have a wonderful new year.